Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make Lebanese meat pies. You can have them as a main meal, a snack, or a party appetizer. So let's get started. I'll be using food mixer to knead the dough, but you can knead it by hand instead. We need two cups, all-purpose flour, one tablespoon instant yeast, one tablespoon sugar, a little bit salt, mix the ingredients together, add about two cups warm water, Now turn on the mixer, let the ingredients mix together. At this step we're only mixing the ingredients together. The dough is not going to be formed until step number 2. Keep mixing until all the ingredients come together. and then cover and let rest for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we start adding the ingredients for the second step and look at the air bubbles. That tells us that the yeast is working and our dough is good. So we're going to add 3 cups all-purpose flour. So now we have a total of 5 cups. Add half a cup oil and two tablespoons yogurt. Yogurt would help making the dough nice and tender. You don't have to add it though. Now turn on the mixer until the dough is formed. You can add flour or water if it needs to. The dough doesn't need any more flour, but it's so soft and tender because of the yogurt. See, it doesn't stick to my hands, so it's good. I'm going to brush the top with a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm going to cover it and let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. While our dough is resting, we're going to prepare our meat filling. We need about one and a half pound ground beef, one medium onion, we're going to chop it and add it to our meat, We also need two tomatoes. I'm going to take the seeds out before I chop them because if I didn't, my meat filling is going to be runny when I bake it. I'll remove the top part as well and then chop the tomatoes and add them to the meat filling. I'm going to add the following spices, salt, allspice, cinnamon, 
and cumin. Add a little bit of vegetable oil. Then mix the ingredients together for about 3 minutes. I'm going to add 1 tablespoon pine nuts. This is optional, but it does add more flavor to our filling and make it more appealing. We have all the ingredients ready. Let's start shaping our meat pies. First, I'm going to cut the dough into quarters. Put the quarters aside and cover them with a towel in order not to dry out. Take one piece and start rolling it out. Then cut it into small equal pieces. Take each piece and shape it into a circle and put it aside. After shaping all the pieces into circles, take one circle and flatten it out with a rolling pin. Put a little bit of the meat filling in the center and then close the edges. If you want, you can wet the edges with a little bit water before closing them. It would help seal the dough and prevent it from opening once baked. But since I'm using yogurt, see my dough is so soft and tender and easy to shape, I'm not going to use water. If you're not using parchment paper to line out your baking tray, make sure to spray it with vegetable oil before putting the meat pies. They're very easy to shape. Just roll it out, put a little bit meat filling and then close all four edges. One tray is done and ready to go into the oven. I'll bake them at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and boil the top for about 3 minutes. And that's how they look after baking. I have another tray ready to go into the oven. See how nice and crispy they look? They're perfect for any occasion. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.